Hello and welcome back to Fem Design Video Lessons. In this video, you will learn how to add wind loads to your model in Fem Design software. You will find the wind load macro from here. In here, you will have shear wall load function, regular building function, and generic building function that I have actually already used in my model. Of course, you can always add your wind loads here by hand, but in this example, I'm going to show you how to do it automatically. There are a few tips before you can start using your wind load. We will go back to structure tab to check out what you need to do to your model before adding wind loads automatically. In this case, when I have structure like this, and I want to add wind load automatically, to these, for example, to these columns around the building. I first, I need to make cover to my building and I have actually made one already using this building cover tool here. And here you have few options like flat roof building, lean to building and rich roof building that I have used here. You can also make the cover uh, one cover by one with this tool. And in the cover, you can see that, for example, for this column, uh, the surface load that will be coming from the wind will be uh, transferred to this column from this surface that ha uh, Femdesign have marked here by these lines. After I have made these covers around my building, I can go to loads. I can select the climate load panel. In here, you actually select the external walls by clicking here and showing the outside direction of that wall. In here, you will also select the roofs. Like here, I have selected a rich roof for both of the roofs here or to my roof. And when you have uh, made the climate load panels according to covers, of course, one thing to understand is that Femdesign will know uh, or exactly where are your climate load panels according to your covers, so you don't have to point out them uh, in a separate way. After you have your climate load panels in a model, you can go to wind. And in this example, I'm going to use generic building. And from here, I'm just going to... Uh, check, uh, select uh, this generate wind load option here by clicking here. And here I can alternate the wind speed and area of my building. I'm just going to click OK from here. And now I can see that Femdesign is generating the wind loads according to Eurocode. And here you can see all the wind loads that have been generated. Later on, we can check that these covers has actually transferred the loads to the columns by calculating the model and checking in the analysis tab. I'm going to calculate my model and we are going to continue this video after the calculation has finished. Now I have finished my calculation. So I'm just going to click close here and I'm actually going to hide the current result. And here in the quick tools, I'm going to go to results, load cases. And here I have converted loads. And here I can see all the wind loads that I have generated before. And now I'm going to display, for example, this wind load here. And in the view, I can see that my cover and the climate loads are working uh, correct way because it's transferring all the surface loads to these columns here, and it's also working for the roof. So I can say that uh, my model is working in a good way according to those wind loads. But here is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching, and thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.